In the previous episode, Asurai took everything around Ortesia while we took back Batanian territory. We took the land back from Asurai until Kazates declared war. While still at war with Vlandia and Asurai, Sturgia declared war. We recovered all the territory taken by the Asurai. We took Omor and Varchag, then Vlandia declared war. We took Sturgia's final town, nearly eliminating them. Now we need to, as fast as we can, get to Ustakol and take that because I don't think they have anything else. Yeah, they haven't captured anything else. So if we can get there and defeat that, it's game over for them. No, they don't want to give it to us. Damn. That'd be a good one because it's pretty far out of the way. All right, we need to get in here without 50,000 of these small parties going into their... Oh, we got it. Look at nobody's in there now. That is perfect. Oh, they left it undefended. Idiots. All right, we're going to do a legit siege here because we are starting to take some casualties. We need to heal up as well. It won't hurt us too much to slow it down some. I don't think they can call an army. These are literally all their nobles and they can't call an army together. So I don't think they can really take anything or it seems that way anyways. All right, here we go. This is it. Say bye bye to Sturgia. <laughs> Hopefully we didn't lose our entire kingdom to freaking Asura in, in Vlandia, but not much we can do about that at this point. We just got to deal with what we can. All right, so this is it. We should be able to knock them out. I don't think we need to do much here. We just we go in and jump off the wall. Actually, we're going to get hit by some stuff. <laughs> like going to a club. <laughs> right, hit me a few more times. Not in the throat, please. All right, get out of your horse. It ain't going to be pretty. Done. We can speed it up. They are making a pretty good choke point out of it, though. But they can't. They can't stop our infantry. Our infantry are too strong. That should be it. Yep, they're gone. Okay, sweet. So Sturgi is eliminated. Wow, they had a lot of clans. They actually had a lot of clans there. All right, there's one more down. That's three, four. That's four down. We don't have to do anything to this one because it's all the way in the back. Nobody's going to bother it. Our army is still mostly intact, actually. We're short about 200 troops, but we're, I think, in, in decent shape. Do we have anything to sell? Actually, we're starting to run low on food a little bit. Let's pick up... Yeah, we can pick up some stuff from here. Interesting. We can spend a million to get better gear. I mean, we have nothing else to spend it on, so I don't see why not. What's the expensive thing that we bought? Mostly the helmets. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, the halberd. That's where well, we're spending half a million on just those helmets. But it's okay. Like I said, we have nothing else to spend it on. So we'll give the best gear, the best of the best to our companions. Yeah, we losing somebody right now would be pretty painful. So it's just Vlandia that we're at war with right now, I think. Yeah, because they asked where I were peaceful. Actually, oh, wow. We didn't lose any of our towns. I'm pretty impressed. They took Sargo. Oh, okay. Well... I am pleasantly surprised. That's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right, let's go Varchek, see if we can pick up a few people. I don't think we have to worry about too much about the garrison here. Oh, wait, this doesn't have a garrison. Yeah, it's a tiny garrison. Our companions need troops, though, for sure. Let's max our party out again. So we do need a decent amount of troops here. Let's go back to maybe Abacrodia. Yeah, they don't have any garrison there. Rote has... A decent garrison. I don't really want to go that far though. Damn, I don't want to have to go back. Yeah, we're short about 200. Yeah, we're short about 230. It's not bad, but I do want to max out the party. So, Epicrodia, let's just go drain the garrison at Epicrodia. Nobody, they'd have to go pretty far to, to attack that. So, I'm hoping that they will leave it alone. That's not even a big garrison though. We'll take an extra day or two and go south. We'll go to our fiefs and we'll get actual recruits. So, we'll go here. I feel like if I drain the fiefs, I'm going to regret it later when they're getting attacked. Right, where's our next fief is down here. So we got to go all the way down here. Yeah, let's not drain the garrison. Let's just recruit like normal. We're not in a rush. Okay, this one has 400 in the garrison. I think we can do it. Let's just finish off by taking whatever they have. So we're maxed out. We're almost 1300 in our army, which is, I think, more than enough. We should be able to accomplish what we need to. Now, they are starting to take some fiefs up here. So let's actually... I'd rather play a little bit more defensive. Oh, Gordiana's going to attack them, though. Is she? I think so. 
Yep, she got it. Okay, sweet. So they're actually our our allies are actually doing something good. Now Vlandi is at war with Asari. This might be Asari right here, unfortunately. Let's head into the heart of Batania and, and take some of those castles back. Oh, 130 defenders. Jeez. What does that look like on an auto resolve? 29. I mean, it's more than we would do if we got it in person, but that's I think it's worth it. We're going to pillage the small things just because I don't want to deal with it later. If we have to take it back, we'll just keep them low. Oh, nice. Here we go. That's a pretty healthy sized army. All right, we got to trail this guy. It looks like they're going to attack the town. Can we sneak a castle while we're waiting for him to siege? Because he's going to take a while to set that up, I think. See if we can sneak one in here. Yeah, we can. We don't need to set up any uh, any siege equipment. I think we just go in. All right, let's get to the ladders first so we can jump off. All right, this is a really good ladder uh, height, so we can take a little bit of hit, and then we can just jump off. Let's see if it'll work. Oh yeah, see, we, we just needed one little hit. There we go. Dimitri is definitely a lover. Not a hater. All right, here we go. Done. We only lost 10 people. And then we're in good shape. We can go fight the defense up here. So we'll pillage this in case they retake it. We can come up here. And as soon as this is ready, as soon as they assault, we're going to start. And I guess we're going to just... Oops. We'll just keep fighting these battles. As soon... We're waiting for them to siege. Upgrade our troops. As soon as they assault, then we can go. Man, they have another 935. I thought we just took out like two armies. So we took out one. I don't know about two, but... All right, we'll keep the tabs on both of these guys. Of course, because they... Damn it, man. Damn it. We had such a good setup over here, too, because all of our armies are here. We're taking stuff. Now they're going to come in and take a bunch of stuff in the back. They may actually not fight that. So let's see where this other one goes. All right, Pendrick. We can take this fight. Peace with Vlandia. Oh, I did not want that. I did not want that. We could take so much of their land right now if these guys would just chill out, but they're not. We're trying to take Astor Castle back. I don't want to fight because it's going to blow our army and we're going to have to go back and recruit again. If we're going to be at peace with them, it like doesn't really make sense to do that. I guess we can turn and, and focus on Kazate. We can kick them all out of the Sturgeon area and just focus back on their main. I don't know how close Astor Castle is to falling. Let's go take a peek. All right, it's going. All right, it's going. Let's keep an eye on this one. Oh, we're not going to get there in time, are we? Yeah, we will. Okay. So, Aster Castle. We need this to fall, but we need this not to fall. So, what we'll do is... It's not going to happen. We oh, nice. They're going in. They're going in. Oh, they stopped it. All right, they stopped it. Sweet. So, this thing needs to fall, like, immediately. All right, we got it. And that means that we can now go to peace with Vlandia, and we picked up an extra two fiefs. Asteroid right, declare war two. Jeez, man. All right, let's go kick them out of the Vlandian area. And then let's make sure this peace deal goes through. Uh, yeah, I don't think Kazate is going to do that. I think they're going to focus on this area. I don't think they're going to come all this way. I know for a fact, Asteroid will come through here and take a bunch of stuff. And I'm tired of fighting for this same land over and over. So I would like to just kick them out. Okay, road tolls is not going to help you, man. Why would you vote that? Oh, our wife got pregnant. <laughs> It's been a very long time since you've been pregnant. What is that about? Nice. So we got another kid coming. Yeah, our oldest is, is what, eight years old, nine years old now? So it's it's been a while since we've been, the, well, the youngest is like five years old. So it's, it's been quite a while since we had kids. I'm going to try and auto resolve this and see how well it does. One to one is 50. That's kind of a lot for a stupid little castle. All right, let's pillage this. This dumpy little castle. And let's go take Garantor. And then that'll lock up this side, hopefully. Now, this army is probably going to cause us problems. Let's see if we can catch him. If we can catch him, that'll solve a problem. He's going to get out, isn't he? Damn it. We can't disband either because we have a ton of mounts in us, on us. He's like 10 times faster than us. We can't do it. We'll take it and then we'll go back and defend when we get done with this one. Yeah, I think we can do this one. Don't. Get back. I'll do it. I'll do it, I promise. Oh, I guess I won't. Oh, yeah, I will. Yeah, I will. Oh, these guys. Oh, they're getting destroyed up here, though. Yeah, our archers are tearing them apart. All right, we lost 12 people. That's pretty good. Let me make sure we can upgrade right here before I forget. All right, hopefully they siege that down, maybe. Nope, they're going to bypass. Tubulis. 
They're already sieging that. Yeah, two police is gone. It's just fine. I don't care about anything south of here, necessarily. Or maybe we do. I don't know. Yeah, they're going to siege it down. We'll go defend it right now. All right, let's go defend. We can wipe out. Maybe we can start pushing into Asurai then. Take them down a notch. Enough. All right, 30 losses. Enough. Stop. Yeah, I'm going to do this from now on because, yeah, I am doing a bad job keeping up on this. All right, this is... Okay, nice. So one of our companions did hit seven points. So he could technically get 275. Probably will take him a while, but that would be nice, actually. All right, we got two here. They're all done. We probably got a few upgrades from the, the donations. Oh, here we go. 800. No, we can take this normally. I think we'll be all right. So we're getting about two to one. And then our injury ratio is about one in five. That's fine. Yeah, heart 69 losses to, to wipe out almost 900 troops is really good. Oh, yeah. Let's upgrade again. Let's not keep getting that. All right, let's see what else they got. Now, Tubeless is a recent conquest, so we could probably take it back fairly easily. Can we catch this guy? He's too fast, and we're in the desert now, so we got the moment speed debuff. But if we can... No, he's going to go right up there and seize that down. So what we'll do... Let's see if we can take this quickly, and then we have to go defend that. No, they already got a thing up. Let's just go. We're going to have to go back and defend it anyways. If we, did, if we didn't go then, we might not have gotten there in time. Yeah, 146 is just... It's not a lot. Okay, go... We got 38 losses. So we're just going to whittle them down. Take all the food. Everything else can go to the troops. And let's go take this fief again. That's a real problem. They... Hmm. Where are they attacking, actually? Looks like they consolidated a few fiefs around here. And Vlandi is actually the... Well, no. Actually, I think Astra is the weakest of, of everybody that's left. But So 165. If they get that up in time, they do... Let's just auto-resolve. I don't really want to deal with this. We'll take the 50 losses. So now, hopefully, this is what people attack instead of going across the crossing. A lot of these guys have so many fiefs. Some of them just don't have any fiefs, though. It's kind of sad. They're they're getting outvoted everywhere. Uh, I'm tempted to start taking stuff here as well. If we take Kuyas... All right, they are actually taking Erzinor. That's a good sign. It means they're not taking stuff up here, necessarily. I think we just start... Just barrel through as best we can. All right, here we go. Nothing's being... No, they are sieging that. So we got to do it now and then try and get there in time to defend. All right, see if we can take some hits. <laughs> They're tickling. It tickles, it tickles. All right, that's enough. We can jump off the thing now. All right, we get some protection from the shield on the back, but... No, dude. Come on, game. What the hell is my army doing? They're supposed to be in there. Where are they? They sent all the melee troops to one hole instead of both. And now they're going to send the, the ranged troops to this one. And it's not even enough to die. <laughs> Alright, we killed them all. I mean, it's too late now. We'll still do it, but it's... Yeah. Whatever. It took that entire match to do that. I don't know why they keep doing that. I guess I have to control them. Oh, and then, of course, there's somebody stuck in the wall. All right, let's be done with this battle. Yeah, we took some losses there. That was not not fun. We got a few people we can donate. All right, Kuya's not going to go to us. Nope. All right, this guy's maxed on the stuff that he needs. Now we just need to get his bow skill up. Oh, I forgot to give him an intelligence point. Oh, Regea. Oh, Regea, let's go see her. Oh, she's too fast. Yeah, we can't catch her. We probably need to sell some stuff and then pick up food, right? Oh, we've got a bunch of grain. Let's take some of the fish. I don't know if I want to go further south. We kind of have to. Yeah, we still have over a thousand. Let's take as much as we can until they give up. I'm kind of curious where they're forming an army. Okay, that'd be good. If they can go up through here, take some stuff. They should be unopposed, mostly. There's an ore. Yeah, they're not... Kuzate's not really doing much. This is perfect. How much? How many troops do they have? Yeah, we've got quite a few of their prisoners, too. But I think their numbers are thinning out pretty hard. I don't see any armies coming. We should be able to see them if they are. So if we have to, we can abandon. But I think we'll be okay here. Did they finish their siege engine? No, we're going to finish it first. So we can do this one quick. I think we have to give commands here. Because last time they screwed it up big time. 
We'll let the archers command themselves because they'll at least get behind cover. It's, it's not that big of a deal. They've got some decent troops here. We're on a mission. We've got good armor. We can at least distract them for a little bit. All right, we'll distract these guys so that our troops can get up. We may not be able to attack, but we can... Oh! <laughs> we didn't kill him. He survived. Oh, we kicked him to death. <laughs> we kicked him and he died. Oh, man. I mean, technically, we don't have a weapon, so... We're still fall. Oh, we killed another guy. <laughs> oh, man, we're getting so much XP for that, too. That's so funny. We killed a man with our bare hands. <laughs> All right, we're getting shot up pretty good here. Let's jump off. I think we helped distract enough. Nope, invisible walls. Let me guess, invisible wall? Nope, this one isn't. This is a really costly battle, though. Well, no, it's not. 35 is not that bad. And we got to keep battle. Oh, not that. Yeah, we probably won't have too many upgrades just because we're getting the... Most people are going to be maxed out soon. Let's pillage this just in case. I don't want to be fighting this thing again if we lose it. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're not being sieged. I think we can just take our time. We'll take another castle. And it's going to be close by to this one. So if they attack... All right, here they come. So they're going to attack. They're probably... Oh, they actually think it's an even fight. How does that look on balance of power? No, we're pretty far in the lead. I'm not really interested in breaking in because the cost to break in is probably going to be more than what we yeah, lose here. Mercy. So it's another big army taken off the field. We take a little bit more food. Let's put the prisoners back in. There we go. Let's go siege this down. All right, this one we're going to have to we're going to have to siege as well. These are all fully built up, so it's going to be tough. We'll have to do these a little bit slower. I think they haven't been sieged the entire game. Ball guard is taken. Oh, they are taking stuff up there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. They're eating into the Sturgeon Kazate land. And it doesn't look like they have an army to really can push back. So that's pretty good. All right, let's crack the walls. All right, they do have an army here. But they're, they're still mustering. So we should be fine. We got to crack the walls so we can get in there soon. Come on, come on, come on. All right, there we go. We're going to go. All right, group one and two can go in there and do the thing. We got to back out and do this. All right, another castle down. So it looks like... Oh, we can get there in time. We can get there. Nice. Yeah, we'll take them into custody. 72 losses. Not too Stop. bad. I there we go. We're just kind of taking whatever we can get because we don't really have that luxury. They're full. This place is probably full. We'll just have to hang on to whoever. Now, okay, Jogurius, they are starting to take stuff up here. But we took Ballguard and Takor. Oh, wow. They just took Takor. We're actually pushing Asurai and Kazate back at the same time. That's pretty nice. Imagine having a wife and kids. Cringe. All right. Uh, Dimitri the Lover. I mean, we don't want it. We'll give it back. It's mostly using control. So let's go control. And this one's irrelevant. Yeah, if we can take a big chunk out of Asurai, then the next time they declare war, we can afford to lose a couple thieves. And then we get down here, clean it up, and push them back even further. And we just keep doing that over and over and over. The problem is we're starting to run low on troops. We're just above 800 now. Are we getting sieged? No, they're still not sieging us down here. I think we've eliminated most of the Asurai military. Sabir was taken. Wow, man. they're. I'm really impressed with the AI on this. They're finally doing a good job. I mean, if you don't want it, we'll take it. No, it's going to Regea. All right, here comes Flandia. So now we got to kind of give up and go back. Otherwise, we're going to lose a bunch of stuff. So let's get in there. How are we getting so many archers? I've been trying to recruit mostly melee troops, but it looks like we're starting to get a lot of archers again. Actually, this might be one that we can just... We can just run our, run off the wall. Yeah, do your worst. Do your worst. Hit me with your best shot. The AG song. Oh, they hit hard. Somebody hit me with a freaking mace. Only lost 10 people. That is really good. We are at your mercy. But you are definitely a prisoner now. We need to pause and then go pick up some troops because this is going to be kind of rough. I'm Balik. We got to rescue real quick. Oh, they got, they got jumped on anyways. The ideal scenario is we ignore Vlandia and we take out Asteroid completely, but we don't have enough troops to do this because we're already kind of running thin. So we should probably run back and recruit up 
get back to full strength and then go defend i think by the time we defend though these guys are gonna have taken quite a few thieves let's go back yeah we need to we need to go back and heal let's go back yeah we have to we have to go back damn it dude it sucks to have to do this like we could easily just recruit all the troops from here and be fine but it's just the rules are what they are all right now because is we're trying to sue for peace that's actually a really good peace deal for us we took a lot of stuff from them they only took maybe two castles down here we took two towns and a castle i think that's a fair trade and then that means the refocus down here in the south takor castle yeah why do we have takor i guess i didn't realize that they gave us one all right, let's get up there and get some troops. All right, we can get... Oh, yeah, see. This is what I was worried about. There's a lot of defenders there, but they're not going to last too long if they have that, you know, 2,000 stack army, which they usually do in the very beginning. So we got to do something about that. Hey, we hit level 25. So our mount can have a little bit more HP. Yeah, we got to go Jalmatis. I think we'll just drain garrisons. We don't have time to go to every single fief. We'll get more from Rote. We got to go to Amatadis. Damn it, man. We're really draining our garrisons a lot. Yeah, we're going to lose those fiefs again because nobody's there to defend it. Right, we left that on train militia. That's good. Oh, yeah. This is the place to take it from. All right. They have a lot of troops here. So I don't feel bad draining these guys. So we're maxed. We are above 13. No, we're not above. Almost above 1300. They took Ein Belik back. Okay. Pankanok is huge. So if it can hold... Nope. They're assaulting. It's going to fall. There's no way we get there in time. We're like two, three days out still. Yeah, it's gone. Let's see how big the army is that took it. Seven. Oh, they're slow. They're slow. We can jump them. Yeah, that's a good fight for us. Lost 90. We're going to put a bunch of them behind bars and get some troops back. Got to keep it together here. Uh, I don't think either of those matter. I think actually I had a... I did have a point. Let's put it into athletics. Peace with Asurai. Yeah, we'll do peace with Asurai. That means we'll be able to hold at least Body Hall. So we only lost one after our big push. That's actually pretty good. Hopefully people actually want it. They may not. No, it's not enough. Freaking idiots, man. Yeah, that would be a really good peace deal for us. But unfortunately. Let's see. Pen Kanaka is pretty weak right now. It's just garrison. Which means we can probably starve them out and take it for free. Seven days. I don't think we're waiting seven days. What do they have in their garrison at least? Crossbow. No, these are legit troops. So we're at war with... Oh, that's right. They didn't want Asurai. They didn't want peace. All right. There's another party going up. They're probably going to take a castle. Okpa is still being see. Yeah, they're going to take it. Dude, these idiots. Just go to peace, man. We have such a good setup right here. This is perfect. We got Vlandia isolated. We could take a bunch of their land. But they're just not going to do it. They just lost a huge chunk of garrison. What happened? And then we got a big, uh, a big reinforcement party. Let's just take out the walls and be done with this. Why is their garrison going down so fast, though? I'm kind of curious. Oh, it doesn't matter. 116. We'll get it back for free, pretty much. All right, hopefully the archers do okay here. All right, I'm gonna try and speed this up. All right, I give you permission to shoot me. I give you permission to shoot me. I promise it's okay. I get I give you I give you permission to shoot me. Seriously, just do it. Okay, there we go. Right, hopefully it doesn't Yeah, nice. So it doesn't invisible wall us, we can speed this up. Yeah, we lost two people to retake it. They put three hundred in their in the garrison and then they lost that seven hundred army. So that was a huge loss for them. Do we need food? No, we don't need food. This place doesn't even have any food anyway, so let's give them a little bit. They took Aster. They took that so fast. Because they just went by us not even a day before we were doing that, so I don't know how they did that so fast. All right, if this guy comes in, we're just going to back out and let him take it. Yeah, you do your thing. We're going to go take something else. All right, maybe they'll give it to us. Nope. There's so many of them. Isn't it? You are right, just. I think it was that one. Actually, if this 700 fights them, we'll jump in to help. Nope, they took it already. Nice. So we got another one back. I don't want to chase this guy around the map, so go siege something, please. You idiot. <laughs> oh, the AI. 27 losses. We're just... We're getting... Yeah. Every time we do this, we're getting just a little bit better. All right, beautiful. 
Things are looking good. Yeah, we lost all that hard work. We lost it all right now because they didn't want to declare peace. What about this side? They haven't touched that side. That's fine. Burrowing into their kingdom, at least it buys us a little bit of time. The problem is it's like, okay, we super peace with here. We run down here, burrow in, we take a few thieves. Then we got to run over here. We take a few and then they take these back and then we run back here and take those back. And then we're going back and forth. It's just stupid. And then when we start making progress in one kingdom, they all want peace. So there's sometimes not much you can do. So what I'm actually going to do here is try and take Carbanseth. The towns have a much better chance of surviving. So if we can take Carbanseth, of course, because they want four. Of course, it's probably a good idea on their part, but man, that's not ideal for us. Gee, can we catch this guy? No, he's too fast. Now, peace with Asteroid would be a good idea if you don't mind nobles. At least he's not sieging stuff down. That's a good thing. Oh, they're gonna they caught him. Wow. I'm impressed. Very nice. Alright, that's that's good news. So the Kazates are starting to take some fiefs in the east again, but that's fine. We should be able to lock this up, no problem. I think we can take a lot of this. Yeah, go siege something else. We don't need help. Garrison stars in two days. It's mostly infantry and it's almost 200 volunteers. So yeah, that's we're definitely fighting this in person. Nice. We hit level 32. We got our final point into social. So now we can max these out as well. And yeah, we're just putting points wherever now. And Durngill the Red. You're an archer, so let's let you do some more archery. We'll give them the charge command as well, but we'll set them further back so they don't end up inside right away. That should help quite a bit. Oh, you know what? Can we go up this? That would make our life 10 times easier. Oh no, our horse. Oh yeah, look at that. Chew through them. Chew through these recruits. Oh, they had a lot of people retreat. 22 losses, and then we're going to have to do this one. Yeah, no losses. So just 22 for the whole thing. I will take that deal. Yeah, show mercy. We want to keep this thing in good shape. Yeah, they're not doing too well on food, but we're also not doing that great on food either. Let's just hang on to it. Yeah, we've been stacking up horses pretty nicely. All right, Aster Castle. We don't want the fall. Oh, no, they, they're taking it. They're taking it. Why didn't you go help? You were right there. Got there in time, though. I don't know why that guy didn't try and help. He was literally right next to him and he had enough troops to take it. We're holding our own. So Drumor, let's take Ormanfard. Oh no, you know what? Let's just go back here and take these. If he's going to take that, we'll take... Oh, they're teaming up. This is really good. All right, so Kazate's going to have free reign over here, but if they just take a couple castles, Shabalzumur, yeah, there's nothing we can do about it. Give us Karbanseth. Nope, we don't get it. Yeah, I think we just close them out of here so they don't really have a reason to roam back here. They'll take Drumor. We'll take the this and Kalius. Neviansk. Oh, this is an easy one. Yeah, we don't even have to wait. Oh, they're taking Kuyas. No, 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 not the town. I don't think we can go down there, though. This, yeah, this is what I was talking about. It's like we take five thieves, and then we super peace. We got to go somewhere else, take five thieves, and then we lose those five thieves because we're stuck down here. Like, what are we supposed to do? Can only do so much. Yeah, not being able to control war votes is... It's definitely a challenge, and it makes the game not very fun. For, for me anyways, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's fine. But we should have been able to clean this up a couple of years ago. I think we would have had it done if we were in control of the war boats. But it definitely adds some challenge. All right, let's get them up there. Let's just send our bowmen. Right, can we get up before they use that little push? That little pusher? No, nope. I don't think so. I think he's going to get it. Oh, somebody shot him. Nice. Good shot. This is where we're going to get hurt here, is those archers. We need a good way to either distract them or clear them out. So I guess we can come down here and just constantly distract them. Oh wow, they're like... They're not messing around, are they? Right, well, at least they're not shooting at our guys. Gotta get a little defensive... Defensive position back here. Oh, our troops are here. Nice. You saved me, you saved me. Well, I was hoping to jump off the wall, but we did some good for our troops anyways. I guess we could still do it technically. No, it's like a Oh yeah, it is. Sweet. Let me guess. Is somebody stuck in the wall? No, actually, finally, they were not stuck in the wall. Nice. Alright, pillage, just in case we have to take it back again at some point. Now we're going Kalius. There... Oh, we don't want to lose Carbanza. Let's go stop that. Yeah, 800. That will have no problem. Let's take them out. 
Yeah, unfortunately, Kuyas is probably going to fall unless they come to their senses and vote for peace, which, again, I really don't think they will. Alright, 30 losses. They're replenishing with just recruits at this point if they're only killing 30 people. Alright, let's go Kaleas again. Oh no, they're going to run out. Oh, they're going to run out. Stop there. Oh, we caught them. Yeah, we pulled them all back in. Nice. So we can take them off the battlefield for free, pretty much. And then we can finish what this guy started. We can let a bunch of people go now. And a lot of troops. Yeah, there's no way we can hold all those. We have to give some to our companions, but they probably can't even hold them either. Let's see if, if everybody's full. Yeah, everybody's full. We have to get rid of these guys. So let's uh, start dumping. Wow, that's a lot. All right, well, that was a pretty good way to get a free army. So during more, this thing should be in pretty rough shape. Yeah, they are. So we're just going to auto-resolve this. Actually, no, we won't. 100 troops. Yeah, that's still... That's enough to cause some damage. We got to conserve. Peace offer from Blandia. We're not going to do that until we're done. Actually, no, let's send troops. Yeah, only 15 losses. I would love to be able to go and take Ormond as well. Actually, we didn't even lose anything because we're going to get these troops back. Let's take all the high tier. Actually... Take all the high tier, the best that we can get, and then call it a day. 